100%. I mean, I feel I'm a type of fighter that trains a lot and literally work my, my whole ass off in the camp. So, uh, yeah, I was ready for this fight and I feel like give 100% to go in there and feel 100% confident. Well, uh, of course, I had to adjust in the middle of the, of the fight. My corners kind of helped me. And uh, whoever knows Kings MMA uh, clinches something, a signature. So uh, definitely we trained that at Kings. But uh, they were the ones who kind of guide me as well and make those adjustments to put the work in. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm I'm a fighter that loves blood, you know, I love to fight, I love those type of fights. Of fights. Uh, of course, you want to get the victory, always, um, one way or another, with blood or without blood, I'm always trying to uh, achieve the victory, And uh, but I'm, I'm pretty confident, you know, I put the work in to, to get the victory and I, I saw the fight uh, at the end as uh, my victory. So the end of the week, Um, I feel it didn't affect the fight itself. I know it was a little bit unprofessional for myself to take that extra hour, but it still made weight, you know. Uh, but it's something I, I'm going to work on, you know, and try to make weight the, the times it's supposed to be and try to be more professional. But no, I didn't feel it affected at all. I recovered pretty good. Um, I just had a little bit of complications on the last point two pounds, but uh, finally we, we made it with uh, the help of everyone. Last question. Did JJ have anything more for you that you expected? Uh, I knew she was a, a really strong fighter, you know, it didn't surprise me, but uh, a fight is a fight, you know, and I had a plan, for example, in the first round, it didn't went through, but it's just adjustments. I feel she's a great fighter, and uh, nothing that surprised me, but of course I knew she, how tough she was, and uh, of course she showed it over there. Sabina, you're obviously known for your head kick knockouts. In the second round, you almost caught her. Were you hoping that, you know what, I'm about to get another one finally in the UFC in that moment? Uh, yes, of course. Of course, I didn't saw she was uh, that bad after the kick, but it was something in my, in my, it's something in my game, you know. It's something I for sure I want to put in my opponents, but um, I, I was trying to, to get that in the second round. You were previously scheduled to fight on the Korea card at the end of last year. Obviously, you know, you got moved this one. How's the adjustment, you know, obviously preparing and then having to stay in camp throughout the holidays? It just motivated me more, you know. I, I knew the card that I was it was waiting for me. And uh, for me, it was like the beginning of the year. So um, it just moved just a couple of weeks, you know, with the, with the nutrition. But uh, I'm a type of fighter that don't do like a fight camp. I like to train all the time. So uh, for me, as soon as I, I get back home, that it's four hours away, so I'll be back to train normal. So yeah, it's just adjustment of, of nutrition, but training keeps the same. I know this fight is obviously still very fresh, but you told Joe Rogan you want this year to be the year that people know you. Do you have someone you want to call out and someone who could be next to help propel you forward? Anyone that it's available, I will take it. I don't, I don't like to call anyone because I want to make my way there. And uh, for me, anyone that is in the list is, is part of my, it's part of my way. So I'll take anyone. Tienes un mensaje para los fans en Colombia. A Colombia y a Latinoamérica. Eh, muchísimas gracias por el apoyo. Estamos aquí representando y bueno, eh, espero ser una buena representación de, de lo guerrero que todos somos. Sabina, que tuviste que ajustar para el tercer asalto. Eh, los primeros dos estaba tomando en el, en el counter, en el uh, tercero ajustaste muy bien con el clinch. Platícanos ese, esa transición del segundo al tercero y qué se te dijo en la esquina. Eh, bueno, fue muy importante obviamente la parte de la esquina, tratar de poner muchísima más presión en el segundo round, empecé a poner un poco más de presión en el tercer, ya eh, dominé con el clinch y un poco más activa, eh, pero sí, es más que todo lo que me dijeron mis, mi, mi esquina, en, tanto en mi, en, entre los rounds como en la pelea misma, ellos me estaban diciendo constantemente que pusiera más presión, un poco más de, de, de juego en las manos, más combinaciones, entonces sin duda fue algo que, que, que me ayudó bastante de parte de mi, de mi equipo. En cuestión de defensa, cuando entrabas ya sea por arriba o por abajo, eh, te encontraba y en el counter, pero no te salgo. En cuestión de defensa, ¿qué te dijo la esquina? Eh, bueno, que tenía que entrar y salir, entrar y salir, 
botar un poquito más de presión y ir saliendo, movimentando, porque me estaba encontrando en el contragolpe. Entonces, sin duda era como tratar de tocar más veces de lo que ella me estaba eh, intentando tocar. Cuando la pescaste en el clinch, eh, hay varias rodillas muy sólidas. ¿Lo sentiste que le dolieron? Sentí, sí. Sentí que acertaron varias, varias rodillas, eh, pero como te dije, ya es una carrera también, entonces no, no, no puede terminar, pero sin duda hubo varias que en el tercer round que, que, que ella sintió. Un saludo para la gente hispana, por favor. Un saludo muy grande a toda Latinoamérica, a la gente hispana, eh, muchas gracias por el apoyo y bueno, todos somos unos guerreros.